Victoria Mary Clark has stated that she still feels connected to Shane McGowan following his recent death. The sentiment comes a week after the Pogue singer's funeral took place earlier this month. On November 30th, the dirty old town hitmaker died after a period of ill health. Following her husband's death, Victoria, 58, has taken to social media to thank fans for their support. The journalist shared a picture of herself and Shane, 65 with her 48,000 Instagram followers and wrote, Just wanted to say thank you for so many beautiful messages of support. I know that each and every one of you has plenty of problems and challenges of your own to be thinking about and you are all so generous and kind and thoughtful and compassionate and I am deeply grateful to you. She asked Pogues fans to take a moment to appreciate themselves and said they shouldn't feel sad for her. Victoria Contend, at Shane McGowan official is still very much with me in every moment and I feel very connected with him and I feel enormous love and encouragement from him and I feel his sense of humor and his pure joy in presence as if he is actually a part of me. He is never going to leave me because he is in my heart. Victoria added that she truly loved that fans were celebrating the late singer's music, life and his warmth and compassion. The widower concluded by writing, There's a lot of people that I want to individually thank for making his funeral so special and magical and I will probably be doing it for a long time. Bless everyone everywhere always. The punk icon was hospitalized in December 2022 and was later diagnosed with viral encephalitis. According to Mayo Clinic, the latter is an inflammation of the brain which can be fatal to sufferers and can include flu-like symptoms such as headaches, fevers, and aching muscles. Victoria, an Irish journalist and author, was previously using social media to keep fans of the star updated on his health. Following the singer's death, his wife revealed that he hated funerals and refused to go to them. She added that it was incredible to think that so many people want to come to his, including Australian singer Nick Cave and actor Johnny Depp. Unfortunately, a West Belfast clergyman has slammed the star's funeral, which took place in Ninar, County Tipperary last week, and claimed that it was an abuse of mass. The comments come after footage of the funeral was shared around the world as a version of Fairy Tale of New York was sung by Glenn Hansard and Lisa O'Neill. Parish priest of the Corpus Christi Parish in West Belfast Fr. Paddy McCafferty said, It was an abuse of what Mass is and what the Catholic funeral liturgy is all about. The introduction of all these elements into that funeral Mass frankly was a scandal and it shouldn't have happened. If they wanted to have that sort of event they could have hired a hall somewhere and did all that. The priest added to Belfast Live that Shane was a good man in his own way, and was entitled to a funeral mass as every baptized Catholic is. The singing of that fairy tale of New York after Holy Communion, totally out of place, he continued. The words that are used in that song and in the church showed no understanding of the sacredness of what the place is and the holiness of the Mass. The churchman added that to sing the song was completely inappropriate, and that something needs to be done about these so-called celebrity funerals in a Catholic church.